After four years of works between Korea, Norway and Angola, the FPS Otlov has reached its final destination, on Block 17 off the Angolan coast. This vast 305-meter barge is a floating factory for the production and storage of hydrocarbons, tied to 34 underwater wells. A factory that is about to experience a mythical moment for any FPSO. First oil, the arrival of the first drop of oil on board. The final procedure will last three days, and it starts like this. Three, two, one. Yes, it's working. Right now, the entire FBSO power supply is being cut to simulate a massive electricity outage. The aim of the exercise is to restart the entire installation as quickly as possible. Okay, so we are going to restart the plant, okay? So let's go. The maintenance teams took just over two hours to restart the FPSO's basic functionalities. Under normal operating conditions, this would have allowed the production to continue freely. Once restart is being completed, the teams begin the first stage of production. Klov starts by importing gas from two other FPSOs nearby, Dahlia and Girasol. This is necessary for the start of production. Ça prend des mois à préparer à ce que le bébé soit opérationnel, mais le vrai moment, on va dire, c'est quand on se décide, on a le feu vert pour lancer les opérations et importer du gaz. The arrival of the gas in all the pipes is a delicate operation. They must watch out for any risk of leak. The operation will last all night. Attention, attention all personnel, attention all personnel, we're going to try to ignite the flare. The moment the flare lit up is uh, the first step towards first oil. It's the first visible event that you have hydrocarbon in the plant. The effect on the people, uh, it's, uh, it's now we are there. The flaring is just a provisional safety measure, enabling, if necessary, all hydrocarbons arriving on board to be burnt to evacuate them. On Clove, to preserve the environment, there will be no flaring under normal operating conditions. Everything is ready, or nearly, to receive the oil. The onboard teams have been working for five days on the very last stage, the lineup. The opening or closing of each one of the 8,500 valves, equipping the 170 kilometers of pipes, must be checked. Overnight, from the 11th to the 12th of June, everything is ready and the first wells can be opened. Well, this morning is uh, the day where we have been working for uh, all time, the whole project. So it's uh, D-Day for uh, Clove. Alors, ce qui se passe, c'est qu'on va, on va préparer le puits dans le sens où on va ouvrir la vanne de fond. Nine hours after the first well has been opened, the first oil finally arrives on board. Et ça fait pour la plupart d'entre nous, euh, équipe start-up, field ops, euh, un an et demi, deux ans qu'on est sur le sujet et, et, et de voir la première huile, bon, c'est ouais, vraiment la concrétisation. Quoi. First oil marks the culmination of four years of work, but it is also the beginning of 20 years of production for the FPSO club and its teams. Everybody is working towards the first oil. That's why we have the project. That's why we have cloth. We are here to produce oil. <laughs>